This DNews episode is brought to you by Domain.com. Amy, have you seen any funny like comedies lately? I saw Gone Girl recently, and I was laughing so hard my face hurt by the time I left the theater. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching D News. I'm Trace. I laugh a lot. Like every day I laugh a lot. Humor is a big part of family holidays, get togethers, even breakfast at my house can toast a few laps out of me. Get it? But what's the point? Like evolutionarily, why do we laugh at things? If you watched Anthony's video about laughter in animals, then you know that chimps are ticklish and they tickle each other often. Sidebar, do not attempt this at work. Even for science, it does not go well. According to research from the late 70s, higher apes do have the cognitive ability to understand humor. So we're not alone in experiencing it, but that still doesn't explain why. In the 1970s, a paper in the Handbook of Humor Research said humor is something unexpected, out of context, inappropriate, unreasonable, illogical, or exaggerated, but ultimately humor is defined by the person who experiences it, which makes it very difficult to study, but usually involves an action or telling which doesn't produce the expected result. Humans and other higher apes like gorillas, orangutans, chimpanzees, and bonobos have all been observed experiencing laughter and humor. Evolution tells us since we and those other apes have a sense of humor, a common an evolutionary ancestor must have experienced it too, and because of it, they were able to remain healthy, socialized, and happy enough to breed successfully. But the reason for it is still tough to nail down. A seminal paper in the International Journal of Humor Research, no joke, that's a real journal, found the perception of humor causes the sympathetic nervous system to activate, dilating the blood vessels, increasing heartbeat, and releasing epinephrine. This is also the beginning of the fight or flight response, and it happens even before laughter kicks in. Once you start laughing and smiling, your blood pressure drops, oxygen levels increase, the immune system builds, and the endorphins like oxytocin flood the body. This facilitates digestion, relaxation, and, very importantly, social bonding. All of this makes a lot of sense if you think about it. This is why you and your friends get together to laugh at my jokes every D News episode, right guys? Right? As Anthony said in his video, apes who have been taught sign language tend to have higher senses of humor, though it's still rudimentary. Researchers think that this might be because the humor response is so closely related to that fight or flight response, which captive educated apes don't really have to worry about as often. The humor response in apes is more akin to children, so they enjoy basic slapstick comedy. Look it up, it's true. In the end, the social bonding and physical benefits of a sense of humor is a huge evolutionary advantage. A study in the journal Evolution and Human Behavior found that people tend to laugh in sync, especially when they're in groups of three or four. And a widely reported study from UCLA found that we can almost always tell when people are fake laughing. <laughs> yeah. When you think about all of these together, the evolutionary basis of laughter seems to be both the physical stress relief and the creation of small groups where we know who are in and who are just posers. We'd like to thank Domain.com for making this episode possible. You should buy your domain name from Domain.com. No domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or a .net domain name. And because you watch DNews, you can get 15% off Domain.com's names and web hosting by using the code D news when you check out. Do you think other animals might have a sense of humor? Anthony's video explores just that. You can find it over here. Or Tara and Lacey over here are talking about how you are not fooling anyone with that fake laugh. Head down into the comments, let us know what you think about all this, and make sure you subscribe for more D news. So eggs and bacon and toast walk into a bar, and the bartender's all like, we don't serve breakfast here. Come on, that was good. <laughs>